Hey kids, how you doing? This is Scott Rock here. I'm down at the Illinois River and I'm doing a children's message called Split River. It's connected to your story for your jubilation in your home for this month of September. I wanted to talk to you for just a couple minutes about um, the river. Now, wouldn't it be cool if I could come out here and I could make this river, the Illinois River, just split in half and I could walk to the other side on dry ground. You know what? I bet if I just touch the river, it could happen. Do you guys think it's going to happen? Ah, uh, nothing happens. Nothing happens. You know why? Because I don't need to get to the other side right now. Um, it, but the people of God in the story of the Exodus, they needed to get to another side. And that's because they had an army after them. The Egyptians wanted them back. And they wanted them back because they wanted to dominate and oppress. They wanted those, those million people or more that's how many were were leaving were exiting were exodusing from egypt because they wanted them to be their workers but more than that the pharaoh and his people and his army they wanted to show the israelites that god was not really able to take care of them that really the egyptians were the best people of all and their gods were best well, the people of God got to the shore of the Red Sea and they saw the army of the Egyptians coming. And you know what? God said, I'll take care of this for you. So he had Moses raise his staff and the river split. The Red Sea split. And they walked not on muddy ground, but on dry ground. And of course, when the Egyptian soldiers tried to follow them through, they went on dry ground to be again as well. But when they got into the middle of it, God wiped them away. He wiped evil away. See, for us, the same thing happens in our baptism. When we're baptized, we're, water is put on us. God's name in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is put on us. And at that moment, heaven, eternal life, being with God, is given to us on God's terms. He uses water to wipe away who we are, our evil, our sin, and then he gives us life going through that water into being in his family. I can't split the Illinois River, not sure I really want to, but do you know what? God took care of the Israelites when they went through the Red Sea. He uses water for us today to clean our hands at this time of our lives and all of our time all of our lives as well but he also uses water to save us from sin and death and the evil one who wants to destroy us god's on our side he's on your side too enjoy a life with him this month as you hear more about the, the story of the exodus take care we'll see you next month